This is the holy island of Andrana, home of the master monks who love peace and quiet. Because of this, weapons and armor are not allowed on the island. Andrana is also the home of the monk apprentice, the monocle. The monocle wants to be the best monk that ever lived. But before he can achieve this, he will need to leave the safe haven of his home to venture out into the world of Gilnor. Before we start out with this journey, let's talk about the goals and the rules of this account. Skip 2 to jump into the gameplay. The goals of this account are very simple. We need to become the highest level possible for prayer, 99 prayer. Which in its own is a challenge, but the biggest challenge for the monocle is unlocking all prayers this game has to offer. This will include some holy quests to unlock the first two locked prayers, but this also means that the Chambers of Xerox has to be completed a bunch of times to unlock the prayer scrolls, the dexterous, arcane and horn prayer scrolls. Let's go over the rules. This account is basically a remix of a Talman and a Monkman. The Talman part is quite simple. For every tile I want to unlock outside of Entrana, I will need 1000 experience. However, when I encounter an altar I can pray up, I will unlock the whole chunk to walk freely in. If that altar is positioned in a church, I will also get the possibility to unlock the four chunks surrounding the altar. This will require me to donate an item connected to the deity to which the church belongs. To make things slightly harder, we will also start out as a pacifist until I unlock certain prayer levels. Level 15 will unlock melee combat. Level 30 will unlock ranged combat. And level 43 will unlock magic combat. I will be allowed to train magic in a non-combat way. Alright, so let's go to Entrana, where this game mode will begin. Like I said before, Entrana will be free to walk on without using tiles. First of all, let's explore the island of Entrana. There are a few notable features around this place. This place is the most important part of this island for this account. Because if this wasn't here, there was no way for my account to gain any experience on the S island. None at all. There is this pit of sand here, which will help me gain experience. There is a herbler shop here. There is a hops patch here. There's some water here. There's fishing spots around this place. And there's this empty house, which has a few good things I will come to later. This river is teeming with fish, but the only problem is it's lure and bait fishing. And I do not have a fishing rod, nor feathers. This is the main part of the island. If we go a little bit further, we got the church, but we got this fishing area with a fishing rod, which is just a troll in this game mode, because there is no bait on this island. There's no net on this island, but there is a cooking range, which will come in handy later. There's a bunch of fishing spots here, so if I ever get a fishing bait or a small net, I will be able to do some training here. And of course, the most important part of this island is the monastery, with the monks who will want to talk to me, and who will heal me if I ask it from them. Which, again, comes in handy later. Because right now, there's not much else for me to do in this place, besides pray. And there's this thing, but that's going to be something for later. Then we go to the other part of this island, go over the river. And here we see some chickens, some unicorns, a law altar, which I will not have access to in any time soon. Uh, in here we have a free kebab spawn, so I'll just grab that. And here's another cooking range, which also is going to come in quite handy. I'll uh, explain that later as well. There's this Atranus Firebird, some random planks spawn here, and then there's this. Right here is a place I should not go into. 
Because if I go into here, I will not be able to get back up. I also think this will count as not being on Entrana anymore. Because there's no way back. Uh, the only way out of here is through the wilderness. Or through a home teleport. Which I have no access to because I don't have Lumbridge unlocked yet. So that's going to be fun. Besides this dangerous, dangerous ladder, which I do not want to go into just yet. We got come to the most important part of this island for me. Right here, 10 pieces of seaweed spawn. The only thing is I can only grab 8 because some of them are in the water. Which I cannot get to unless I use the telekinetic grab. But there are some that, that are just on the edge, which I can grab. You can just see my character grab it. Right now, I have no way of gaining experience or money or tiles or anything. But everything is going to change after I talk to this guy. Fritz the Glassblower. He's going to enable me to start this account. This guy will explain to me how glassblowing works. He always wants an apprentice, and I am the monk's apprentice, so I am gonna help him out, of course. And learn the secrets of glass blowing. We need soda ash and silica, and we can get soda ash by collecting seaweed from the rocks, which I just did. Besides seaweed, we also need need buckets of sand for this. And we can just go to the sand pit. But before we can start all this, we need a bucket. And there is no bucket spawn on this island. Not at all. But the thing is, he's going to give me one bucket. This one bucket is going to start everything. Without this bucket, Sigant was doomed before we even stepped onto this island. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to have to walk a bunch of times through the sand pit. Make a few glass. I need about 50k experience before I can get out of this island. Before I can unlock my second skill. This might take a while. Before we are able to make some molten glass, we first need to turn the seaweed into soda ash. We can do that by going to a range and cook on it. We're gonna do that real quick. Now I made all my soda ash. So let's run back to the furnace. From here, the process is quite simple. We go to the furnace and we start melting. Here you can see we made one molten glass. But now my bucket is empty. So we're going to go back. We are going to fill up the bucket one more time. This process gave me 20 XP. And if I need 50,000 experience, that's going to take quite a while. But here's the gist, the fun part of this grind. I now have two molten glass. If I talk to Fritz the glassblower, he wants to buy them from me. And of course, I'm going to sell them for 20 gold each. Now I got... Yeah, 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 you can have it. Just just take it. These 40 GPs are going to help me out so much. Because there's one more thing around here. Because we have this hops patch. And there is a gardener next to it. Somewhere. There he is, just hidden away. If I talk to this guy, he can sell me stuff. And he can sell me a bucket of compost. I see you thinking, why the hell does he need a bucket of compost? Well, I don't need a compost at all. I just need the bucket to make this process way faster. Because I'll just empty it out. And now I've got two buckets, which I can fill up. So now i get two buckets of sands, and this will speed up my process twice as fast. This also means I can sell two more molten glass. So now I can buy another bucket. Thank you very much. And now I got three buckets to <gasps> add a level up. My first level up on this account. Now I got three buckets. And I can do this again. And I'm gonna do this till I got a full inventory of buckets. Now I got five buckets. And this was only possible because this Fritz here gave me his first bucket. If I could not get his first bucket, there was no way for me to gain experience on this island. But now I got I got all these buckets in my inventory. Which is gonna make sure I cannot take full inventory of soda ash back. Now there's a solution for this as well. Because we have this hot patch here. That means there's also a tool leprechaun here. So what we can do is just put all our buckets with him. What I'm gonna do next 
is I'm going to go back to the seaweed spawns and I'll grab a whole inventory of them. And one more thing I didn't mention is there's also a black bear that spawns here. But he's going to leave me alone because he's a nice fella and I'm going to leave him alone because I'm a nice fella. So I'm just going to fill up my whole inventory with all these seaweeds, do a quick world hop to a different world and then repeat this process. That's two for this inventory and then we start heading back but there's one more stop along the way i'm gonna show you guys you all remember this chicken coop right if i go in here if and i cook all the seaweed here first i can make it so that my whole inventory which weighs a lot because one seaweed weighs about 0 0.2 and one soda ash weighs 0 0.05 which is like a lot less so my run energy might actually stay a bit longer, so it might save me time. But like you can see, this takes a long while to fill up, uh, which is why I'm going to skip. So the goals of this account are easy, like I said. The early game goals are quite a bit harder to uh, figure out first. But I do have my plans. And the moment I got like 70,000 experience, aka 70 tiles unlock, I'll show you guys what, what my plan is. It's going to be fun. So right now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop half my inventory. Well, let's start with five first, because we only got five buckets. I'm dropping here. I've got to be fast, because otherwise they despawn. I'm going to have to grab my buckets from the leprechaun over here. I'm going to fill them up real quick. Right, I almost forgot. This first bucket made my crafting level go up to three. We continue with making more molten glass. We will sell all of this for 100 gold. Come over here, take my glass off me. This just feels like I'm scamming him. Thank you, thank you, thank you. This means I can buy a bunch more. So with three more buckets, I'll fill this up real quick. And I'll pray to the gods that my soda ash will not despawn. And that's level four on the accounts. We are flying through these first levels. This is awesome. And that's level five. We can make birdhouses, but that's totally useless, because there are no birdhouses on Entrada. So let's sell all of this real quick for 160 gold pieces. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Now to quickly pick this up before it despawns. Never mind. Let's continue. The gods were not favorable for me to keep these soda ashes but that's fine because we still have a bunch in my inventory we only have, we don't have to do this every single time because we do have some buckets right now i got all the buckets i will ever need i think this will be another level up that's level six on the account and we also have almost unlocked the first tile for outside of tentrana to speed up the process even more we can do one more thing we got our buckets now so we don't need a lot of cash anymore so what I'm going to do, instead of selling it to this guy, I'm going to walk to this house. Because there was one more thing in this house, which I haven't talked about yet. Let's go over everything that's in this house. We got our cooking range. We don't need this one, because we already have the one with at the chicken coop. We got a full booth, which, of course, I'm going to use, because voting is good. Everyone, please vote. Right? Vote. Vote. There's his drawers, which are useless nowadays. But back in the days, you could just spam click these to get some random coins, random stuff. But unfortunately, Jackax took that out of the game. So all drawers and crates and everything are just useless on Entrana, even though they have the search option. Upstairs, there's not much as well. It's quite empty. There's a bed, a table, a study desk, and a chair. There's a garden, which, which has some potatoes. Also useless. But then we go here. And we have a glass blowing pipe. This will mean I can double my experience per hour by just turning the molten glass into something. Let's give him all my buckets and let's start moving back to the other side of the island. All the while, I'm gonna do some glass blowing. Right now, I do have the level to make beer glasses and candle lanterns. Uh, oil lamp will be unlocked soon. So let's make some candles which give me another 19 experience per each molten glass I'll grab. And look over here, that's already a level seven. 
which means I can now make gold bracelets, boots, and pie dishes. We already got two tiles unlocked. Well, that's amazing. I'll just drop these real quick, because we have no need for candle lanterns just yet. I know, it feels like glittering, but that's fine. That's another inventory. Let's quickly turn these all into sodash. And that's a whole inventory of sodash. Awesome. Let's do a quick pray at the altar before we continue, because I am a monk after all. Right now, I'm gonna have to drop a whole bunch of sodash again, and hopefully this time not let it despawn. Let's quickly fill these up. If these despawn, I'll be really sad, because that's gonna make this grind a whole lot worse. And that's level 8. And that's level 9. It's just cool to see. It's been fun. It's the first time for me playing an Iron Man. And it's been well that I had a low level account. So it's fun. Let's quickly sell this glass to this guy over here. To Fritz. So I have a whole bunch of inventory space free. So I can pick up this thing. The rest of the soda ash real quick. Before it despawns. And I think I am on time. Which is quite amazing honestly. And I think I'll have to let this one soda ash despawn. This gold's gonna come in useful later when we unlock a bunch more tiles. I think my grind will consist of... Selling the first half of my inventory to Fritz to gain some money. Then run over here and grab the glass blowing pipe. And that's level 10 on the account. My first level 10. Awesome. Awesome. Useless level for now, but it is level, so that's good. Give me all the experience, please. I think I'm gonna have to take two less seaweed on each of my trips to make it efficient. Uh, let's walk back to our dear friend the gnome the leprechaun ah uh, he probably won't like it if i call him gnome even though he is a garden gnome isn't he that is another level coming in right about now and that's level 11. we can create leather fan braces a quick shout out to ultimate iron man soros who helped me come up with this plan and of course party room clan who also helped me with some details awesome thank you guys you guys rock